Are you in the club? Hey guys, welcome back to DCTC. This is Amy Jo, and today I'm going to be introducing you to one of La La Loopsie's newest dolls. This is Royal Tea Honey Stripes. Her sewn on date is July 10th, and she was sewn from a honeycomb. It says right here that she can be a bit bossy at times and that she's a busy bee who's always buzzing around. She has lots of friends and she treats them all like family. But that's not all we're going to be doing in this video. No, 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 no. We are going to be using Play-Doh to turn these plastic eggs into something amazing. Okay, so before we open up Royalty Honey Stripes, I'll tell you what I've done here. So there's some surprises in here. And then I have three different colors of Play-Doh, black, yellow, and this orangey honey color. So we're gonna turn these into surprise eggs. I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. Here is a picture of all of the new dolls and I'll show you the ones that they sent me. That's Strings Pick and Strum, Keys Sharps and Flats, Cherry Prim and Proper, and then Royalty Honey Stripes. And I did videos on the three others that I received, so you guys should go check them out on our channel. They're all really, really cute. Royalty Honey Stripes is my favorite though. And so now let's take a closer look at her. So when I received all four of the dolls, she was instantly my favorite. And I think it's just because she's so unusual. So she has on a dress, this looks like a beehive and obviously it's striped like a bee. She has white legs and the most adorable little shoes. And look, they have little wings on the back. See that, it kind of looks like bows. <laughs> and she has wings, so she's like a little bee. Her hair is super cute. So she has like two little buns and they are both beehives. This one has a little heart in it and you can see all of the honeycomb detailing and this one has honey dripping off of it. <laughs> so that's really cute. And she's also wearing a crown. So she's kind of like the queen bee. And I love this, just a tiny little detail around her neck of white fuzzy stuff. That's kind of like a bee too. You know how bees sort of have that little fuzzy, not that, not that you'd want to get that close to one, but I've just seen pictures of them. <laughs> anyway, I love her. I think she is so, so cute. Definitely my favorite of the ones that I received. Are you feeling inspired like I am? So my plan is to try to make one of our surprise eggs look like a beehive and the other one to look more like a bumblebee. So I have some really good ideas and I think you guys will enjoy this. We're going to start with our honey colored Play-Doh and I'm just gonna kind of squish it out. This is a brand new container of Play-Doh so it's really squishy and good. And my plan is to roll out a big tube and then weave it all the way around. But at the bottom, instead of just making the hive all the way to the bottom, I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna put a little base of flowers. Okay, so let's start rolling it out. Oh, <laughs> you guys are not gonna believe how long this thing is. It is very, very long, see that? And I think that is about the right size. So now we're just going to start at the top and we're gonna wrap our Play-Doh around our egg and turn it into an adorable beehive. looks like we're going to need <laughs> more play-doh that's funny that kind of looks like a hat like if there was eyes and a mouth and no nose <laughs> it's like a lego minifig okay i rolled out more play-doh and we'll just connect that right there oh i almost showed you guys what was inside Okay, here we go. Yeah. 
So it looks like this. So here's the bottom of our plastic egg. And now I'm going to put some flowers all around the bottom of it. I might put like a brown base to put the flowers on just so that they stick out kind of the same, you know, um, place as the hive. <laughs> Otherwise they'll be pressed underneath it. I actually just ended up using more of the orangey honey colored Play-Doh just cause I thought it looked better than the brown. So here is our hive before flowers and next we'll make some flowers. And when you have all of your flowers cut out, you can start placing them around the bottom of your hive. There, and now we have a little beehive covered with flowers. So I'm thinking we're missing something else. And to make it, I need black, yellow, and white. <laughs> Can you guys guess what I'm gonna make? Did you guess that I was making a little bumblebee? I think I got the body and the wings. I'm just trying to figure out what to do for the face. So maybe I could just put two little eyes right there. Let's attach our little bee to the beehive. Maybe a little lower, like right there. Aw, that's cute. Okay, so here's how I finished them. I made two little eyes by, <laughs> that one's kind of messed up, but I just made two little round balls of white Play-Doh, put two tiny little black balls, and then I actually put the little um, antenna on first and put the eyes on top. So there is our <laughs> finished product. I think it turned out pretty cute. Okay, so now we will start on our second Play-Doh surprise egg. And I'm gonna try to make this one look like a bee. <laughs> now this one should be pretty easy. We're just going to be cutting yellow and black stripes of Play-Doh. I placed my black stripes on my egg already and I decided it would be easier to cut out a yellow circle to put on the top of our egg. And then we're just gonna wrap our yellow around and smooth it out a little bit so it covers up all of the pink plastic egg. And this is what you end up with, a little striped bee looking egg. So what should we do next? I have an idea. What if instead of just doing a bee, we do a Royal Tea Honey Stripes inspired <laughs> Play-Doh bumblebee egg? This will be interesting. Maybe it'll be a little creepy. I think those eyes might be too big. So, okay, so we have our bumblebee stripes and then this can be her face and we need a really tiny little circle because these should actually probably be her cheeks. Okay, so here's my teeny tiny little, ah! Okay, so we've got our little circles now. So I didn't finish my sentence, but <laughs> this is my teeny tiny little circle cutter. Okay, so let's see. I feel like this should be moved over a little bit. Maybe like that. And now we need some pink for cheeks. Oh, 
I might have to reposition some of this. It's a little tiny face. Now this next part is going to be very tricky and I can't do it in front of the camera because I need to hold it right up close to me so I can see it, but I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna roll out this black Play-Doh to make little, um, a tube I guess, a little string of Play-Doh. And then I'm gonna make crosses in the eyes, like thread, a little crisscross, and that will make it look like it's a button. And then I have to put the little, I don't know what you call it, it's like two little points that come, it's her eyelashes, and a smile. So hopefully the next time you see this, it's gonna look very la la loopsy. Okay, so here's what I came up with, and I have to tell you, it was not easy. <laughs> so to finish the eyes, I did exactly what I told you guys I was gonna do, which was to make the little tiny pieces of Play-Doh, and then I just took a pencil and made holes. These are two little triangles, and then the mouth was very tricky. Little tiny pieces of black Play-Doh, and then I just kind of went around her cheeks and made a little dash around them to make them look sewn in. I just don't feel like she's finished yet. What if I add these? What I did was took a black pipe cleaner, cut it in half, and then bent it to look like little antenna. And then I'm adding a little ball of Play-Doh on the end of it. And we can put these, let's see. We can stick them <laughs> on the back with some Play-Doh, I think. Maybe this one will look better over here. How about like that? That looks pretty cute. Okay, so here's our finished product, and I think she looks cute. What do you guys think? You have to leave me a comment and let me know. And did you guys figure out that this is where I got my inspiration? I wasn't sure what to do, so I took another look and I thought, you know what? I can make those with pipe cleaners. And here's one last look at Miss Royalty Honey Stripes before we go. And here's one last look at our beautiful Play-Doh surprise eggs. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed meeting Royalty Honey Stripes and I hope you had fun watching me make the Play-Doh surprise eggs. You'll have to leave me a comment and let me know which one was your favorite. Mine was definitely the beehive. I think it turned out so cute. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think too, okay? If you liked this video, you can let me know by clicking on the thumbs up button. And if you guys haven't subscribed to our channel, we would love it if you did. This is Amy Jo with DCTC. Thanks for watching. Another video, that's the end. Come back soon or we'll miss you, friend. DC, DC. We do toy reviews. DC, DC. And we play with Play-Doh, too. Skits, pranks, eggs and toys. We make videos for girls and boys. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's right. <laughs>